Hey, it's Georgie from GSD Solutions here with another tutorial on how you can use various digital tools to get more done in your business. So here we are with an email that we've drafted that we need to send to three different speakers. And this email needs to go out to multiple people. And what we're gonna do today is go over the mail merge process using a tool called Streak. So let's start with what is Streak and what does it do? So Streak is primarily a CRM, so a customer relationship management or a client relationship management tool that you can use that is a Google Chrome plugin. So you could go to streak.com or click the link below and then simply install uh, to Gmail. I've already installed mine, so I'm all set. Some of the features that Streak offers is that it allows you to track if someone has opened your email, create pre-written snippets, thread splitter, so splitting a conversation, as well as sending an email later. And one of my favorite tools from it, Mail Merge, which is what we'll be covering today. So now I've drafted this email. I put hi, and then I put in brackets some key information that will be different for each email, such as the name, the panel title, the date, and time. Then I created a spreadsheet with all the essential information because me and my team have been working on this. So in the spreadsheet, I have the person's first name, last name, email, panel title, date of event, start time. So I could either individually send these emails or I could use mail merge to send all three emails and even up to 800 and more emails in one go. And instead of BCCing each person, what I would do is send a unique email to each person. So let's take a look at the steps to do that. So first I'll come up to the corner and export this um, sheet with the information as a CSV file. So a comma separated values file. So I'll go ahead and export that. Then I have my drafted email and then I would go into uh, my email address and then I will select mail merge. Because I already have streak installed, it does give me the mail merge option. Just a heads up, I have the basic streak plan and that allows for up to 800 mail merges per day. Um, if you have a free streak plan, you can go up to 50 mail merges. So that's 50 unique emails that you can send using that one mail merge. So let's go ahead and test this out. I'll select mail merge, upload that CSV that I just downloaded. And it takes a minute to populate the names and the recipients on that CSV. So it's currently loading up. Now that all three recipients have been loaded in, what we can go ahead and do is start changing the fields. So it's simply highlight the field that we want to change and then go down to the bottom of the email where it says variables. We select on variables and then select the variable from our CSV. So we're going to start with first name, then it'll populate with that section, panel title. So we're going to highlight and using the brackets just makes it easier when you are changing it. Um, the formula is uh, open field underscore then the title of the section, but it's a little hard to remember. So you just can easily use brackets and then you could correct it when you're making the final email. So we have panel title there. Then we're going to come in and do the date. And again, these elements are custom to whatever information you're sending out. You may need more of these. You may need less. Um, start time. Okay. So now that we filled out all the areas, we're just going to make sure that the email has a title. And then we're going to go over to the side of the mail merge and you're going to hover over each email and you'll see that the mail merge has uniquely included each person's specific details such as their name, panel title, start time, and you could even hover over certain elements of information and then make it bold and then it will reflect on that if you want to also highlight. For example, we want to make sure folks know that this is essential information. You could do highlighting of this information as well. So now again, it'll highlight that specific information per email. Once that's completed, you could go ahead and select start mail merge and it'll then start the mail merge to send it to all of the recipients on the mail merge. If you have the free streak that will be costing you, 
you nothing and you get up to 50. And if you have the pay streak starting at 800 and then it goes up to 1500 and you could get even more if you have the enterprise streak. So my account right now that I'm using is the basic. So I get up to 800 mail merges. Now it says that all three emails have been sent. Let's go to our sent folder, quickly click on one of those emails. And then you can see that there are three unique emails that went out to the recipients, um, giving them their initial information. I could have also CC'd someone and then that person would have been CC'd on each email that was sent out. So I hope you were able to learn how to use mail merge from streak when you're sending mail merges in Gmail. Check out some of our other videos at GSD Solutions and let us know in the comments what other videos that you're looking to see around tech tools for yourself as well as your business. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.